Hi, I'm Zoveri from Honored Plugins, and today I want to talk about one of our free plugins. Uh, it's called Frix, and it's a spectrum analyzer that behaves in two different ways. One is the analog mode, and the other is the digital mode. And the digital mode, I talk about the, the second first because it's the more obvious, obvious one, that the one that everybody knows. It's a, a Fourier transform a spectrum analyzer, like the, the other plugins you may know, that shows you the spectrum of the track you are playing uh, with a, a fine resolution. And uh, we also provide uh, a, an analog mode that is uh, completely different as uh, is based on um, analog filters, uh, on 31 of them, that uh, um, models the behavior of uh, old analog um, spectrum analyzer made with LED bars. So uh, it's the... It's inspired by a real uh, hardware unit and it's the same spectrum analyzer you find in our 31 equalizer and spectrum analyzer. And uh, this is uh, really appreciated in uh, the recording studios uh, uh, around the world. We have uh, uh, heard uh, back from them, from many of them, and they really liked uh, this thing because it really behaves like the hardware unit. But uh, no more talking. I will um, show you the guy of the plugin and let you see how it works. So here we have our guy, and I'll start uh, a track uh, to demonstrate how it works while I explain. Okay, so. Uh, this is uh, the analog mode, and as you can see, we have uh, our bands down here. Each of one of these bands uh, is uh, linked to um, a filter, an analog filter that only listens to this uh, specific frequency, and the output of the filter is then sent to this LED bar here, showing the level of this specific band. Uh, this is a uh, uh, very useful if you want to concentrate only on uh, the, the, the specific frequencies and have a, a broader image of uh, how the tracks sound. And this is also a nice thing to view with uh, all these LEDs jumping around. If you over the mouse on the LED bars, you will see the frequencies and the level of the peak. These white dots here show the peak for each bar. This is an addition that the original hardware unit don't, doesn't have. So if you don't like them, you can simply turn them off and uh, have uh, this analyzer work like an upgrade unit. Uh, also, you can change the range that is shown here. Now we are showing 6 dBs for each LED and uh, you can choose uh, between uh, 3 dB for LED or uh, um, 2 dB for LED or just 1 dB for LED. There are 12 of them, so uh, in this case here you are zooming around this area that is uh, the highest uh, uh, sounding part of the truck and uh, you can see exactly which frequencies are peaking above the negative 12 level. But if you want to have a broader image, you can go to the highest possible range. I enable back the peaks because it's useful for me. And then you can also reset them. And uh, you can choose your integration time. By default is one second. So you have uh, an average uh, response of the, of the analyzer, but you can have it very fast and much slower to have uh, the average level and not seeing just the peak floating around. So uh, you can also choose uh, to display the side of the of the stereo signal, so you have the difference between left and right channel. And this is useful if you think you have resonances down here that may cause problems or are too wide stereo like this truck probably is right now. 
uh, but also you can see if you have peaks down here and in fact we may have an issue that can be fixed using uh, an elliptic uh, equalizer like our elliptic U, making uh, uh, the bass uh, more mono-like. And the same controls are available in the digital view that is uh, shown like your regular digital spectrum analyzer that can help you to identify some very specific frequency having a resolution that is much finer than the analog one uh, but you can have the same controls and also uh, track is over let's bring it back once again and also you have uh, the integration time that allows you to see the average and peaks and uh, the mid-side control so you can look at the center part or the difference between left and right channel and of course you can reset the peaks. You also have two buttons down here that allows you to load and save presets so you can uh, uh, save any combination of this control and uh, quickly uh, recall it uh, for, for your use if you want. Also, using this yellow triangle here, as in every of our plugins, you can free, freely resize the interface. You can have it bigger or smaller or whatever you want. You, know, you may have a second display and you may want to have this big here and while doing mastering, for instance. And this, is, this can be done using uh, uh, this control here. So, this is Honor Frex, is uh, available for free on uh, www.honorplugins.com. We only ask uh, for a share on Twitter or Facebook for the page of the plugin, and then you can add it to your cart for free. So go on our website and download the Frex and let us know if you like it. Thank you very much for watching this video.